Only on News 4, for the first time since this plane crash, we are hearing from the man who was flying that plane. It's been almost two months to the day since the crash in Monroe County near Waterloo. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Claire Kellett. I'm Courtney Bryant. There was an Alabama couple on board with their grandchild when it went down. The pilot has been in the St. Louis area ever since, recovering from the crash that could have ended in tragedy. Today, he spoke only to News 4's Marielle Mose. Courtney and Claire, Michael Stoddard was the pilot of this small plane, and he's also the husband and grandfather of the two other passengers. They were flying home from their hometown just outside of Mobile, Alabama, to St. Louis, where their daughter lives, who is the mother of the toddler that was on that plane. They may not have made it to their destination that day, but this isn't a story of tragedy. I knew uh, immediately that we had had a catastrophic uh, engine failure and that you know we only had about probably a minute, maybe two minutes at best before we were going to be on the ground in some shape, form or fashion. This is how they landed. Upside down, a mangled mess along a Waterloo, Illinois neighborhood street. Three passengers inside, a couple and their four-year-old grandson. 63-year-old Michael Stoddard was the pilot of that plane and the grandpa of the toddler. He recalls his first moments after the crash. When I came to, I, I heard my grandson crying and I heard my wife crying, um, so I knew they were alive. This is Stoddard's grandson Hudson and his wife Rebecca. They both survived. Four-year-old Hudson walked away from this crash without a scratch. The car seat saved him. There's no question. Rebecca had spinal injuries and neck fractures. And she's getting stronger and doing better, and she's actually doing outpatient physical therapy here twice a week. The Waterloo home that the plane crashed in front of happened to be the home of Trin Dawes, who has been in law enforcement for 20 years. He ran to the crash and began a search and rescue before EMTs arrived on scene. Trin and his wife, I just cannot thank them enough. I hope to be able to go meet them pretty soon. That would be pretty awesome. Another group Stoddard is thankful for, the people who are helping him walk again. I'm a physician. I know what good care, health care is supposed to look like. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Stoddard had five surgeries after the crash for broken ribs, a thigh, and shattered shin. But now he's walking with help. This feels great. Hoping to return to normal life again soon, but now with a new perspective. <sighs> Just being more grateful and aware that life is so precious. For Stoddard, the way to cherish life is to live it. And he says he will fly a plane again. And it's a chance we take, it's the chance of living. But, you know, what's the alternative? You know, not do anything, not go anywhere, stay in your home. Yeah, you can be safe, but it's not much of a life. Good advice there and perspective. Since the crash, Michael's daughter, who lives right here in St. Louis, has actually given birth to another son. They now have two grandchildren, and he was telling me that this Mother's Day, instead of mourning, they'll be celebrating. Claire and Courtney. Yeah, they're definitely very thankful you can see that.